Runa, thanks for joining Wada Talks. You've been involved in anti-doping for a number of years. What motivates you to help keep sport clean? Well, I, I started this in the 80s, actually, and um, what has been my motivation has clearly been to fight for clean athletes. Uh, the, the fight against doping, collect urine samples, blood samples, is not what's driving me. It's to keep sport clean and to have a level playing field for, for clean athletes. That's what drives me. And looking back on your career to date, what would you say are the main highlights? What are you most proud of? Well, a couple of years ago, uh, and 10 years before that, I was working for WADA, uh, having the world as a scene, and um, accomplishing, developing the code in three rounds, three versions, uh, and see that this is now being utilized, used all over the world has been a big motivation, but it's also been a big accomplishment for, for me personally, of course, but also for WADA and the whole community. And since you left WADA, you've been working for Anti-Doping Norway. Tell us about uh, that work. Well, coming back from WADA, um, coming back from Montreal to Oslo was good. I started in Oslo, um, then Montreal and back to Oslo. It's a good situation to be in and to get back to work in Oslo, in Antidoping Norway, on the national scene, see how it works, see how the international system works on a national basis is a good thing. And of course one of your other hats has been as uh, head of the IAAF task force looking into the Russian Athletics Federation. Tell us about the challenges you went through to make the decision last summer and the ongoing work for them. Yes, as you say, Ben, it's been a huge challenge to work with Russia and for IAAF task force in order to get Russia up and running again, uh, in, in track and field that is. Uh, we are working with WADA uh, and RUSADA, but also with the IPC in order to get this up and running. It's, it's been a difficult task because changing the culture in a huge country like Russia is not an easy task. Uh, it needs, um, you know, kind of tweaking here and there. And um, even though we had clear criteria on how to, to deal with this, it's been a difficult task and the task is not over. We're continuing our work. And finally, there's a lot of talk today about the future of anti-doping and what changes need to be made. What, what do you think the future holds for the, the movement? Well, I think we need to get more athletes on board. Um, the athletes' voice haven't been heard strongly enough. Uh, so I'm happy to see that athletes are more engaged now. Uh, I think we all, on national basis, but also on, on the international basis, from the IOC, from WADA, from international federations, needs to get athletes on board because their voices are much stronger than administrators like us. Rune Anderson, thank you very much. Thank you, Ben.